talking about earlier that uh, uh, we mentioned that we do need to be in prayer for you know Hillary Clinton, whether or not we agree with her <coughs> politics or not. But she has uh, got a blood clot on her brain, and uh, that's not looking good for her. And uh, you know, ultimately, we're all created in the image and the likeness of God. And thank God we live in a country where that we can have our disagreements and our differences in things. And thank God we live in a country where we can express our opinion and our beliefs about things, whether we agree with all of it or not. But most of all, thank God that we live in a country where that we can worship Jesus Christ. Amen. Because folks, I want to tell you, there's a lot of countries in this world. My dad, he traveled all over the world for over 20-something years in the Navy. And he's seen all kinds of different people. And when my mother would get to talk about how bad we had things, she would talk about how rough we had it. My daddy would giggle sometimes and he'd say, Shirley, you don't know nothing. We live like kings and queens compared to most of the people I've seen in this world. Yes. Because he had been in the third world countries. He had seen the people in war-stricken zones that didn't have anything. When World War II was over with and the POWs were liberated. They went into those places and looked at where destruction and evil had taken over. And I can imagine as, as those guys, and my dad included, looked on all that, they thanked God for being able to look back at the country they were from. Yes. Because it is a safe harbor. It is a safe haven, haven for us. Thank God we live in a country where we can come together like this. We don't have to go underground. We don't have to hide. Because there's a lot of countries... Right now, if we were doing it, what we're doing, we take it so much for granted. Soldiers could walk through that door with AK-47s and hold us captive, even execute us for our faith in Jesus Christ, for being able to express what it is we believe in. We take it for granted so many of the blessings that God gives us. You may look around, you may say, well, I don't have much. I don't possess much. Listen, if you've got Jesus Christ in your heart tonight, you possess everything that you need. Yes, Peter says He's given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. And that means that Christ, when He died on the cross for you and I, that He's given you and I every single thing that we need. Every single thing. There's nothing left out. You may not... Possess it tangibly in your hands tonight. But trust in God. He'll supply your needs. He'll give you the things that you stand in need of. He will bless you. He'll sustain you. He'll fulfill you. If you trust in you. See, I, I don't think there's any accidents with God's children. I think God has a prescribed plan for each and every one of us. Our problem is just finding ourselves falling into that plan. Finding that place where that God can work in our life. But when you find that place, and that place is faith in Christ and what He did on the cross. When you find that place, God begins to work in your life. And He'll do for you what you can't do for yourself. And I like to think of it this way. Of course, I know God never gives up on any of us. But if you don't quit on Him, He don't quit on you. Right. So even when you get discouraged, don't go by your feelings. Realize the Word of God is true. And He loves you. Just like Mike was singing that song up here earlier. He loves you. He loves you and I more than we'll ever know. I want you to help the girls sing this song up here and we'll call it tonight. It's called I Am Blessed. You know it. You've heard it. Help them sing it tonight. We love you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jill.
everywhere and give them a hug and tell them that you love them. And I am blessed. Tell them you're blessed tonight in this place. I am blessed. Yeah, just give them a big hug and a, a howdy and a shake. Just tell them I'm blessed and I love you. I'm glad I'm here tonight. When I wake up in the morning, say my